Now at 11, Doral Mayor Christy Fraga is pushing for change in her city. She wants new amendments for bars and restaurants in an effort to make them safer. Good evening, I'm Ivan Taylor in for Chelsea Jones. We spoke one-on-one -on -one with the mayor where she laid out several changes she wants to see. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero breaks down how those proposed changes honors one of the victims of last month's City Place shooting. The George Castellanos ordinance, that is what the city of Doral's mayor wants to call an ordinance she will be proposing at the next city council meeting. It's named after the security guard who died after a shooting at Martini Bar in City Place, Doral. Her goal with this ordinance is to prioritize public safety and family-oriented community values. You know, if someone wants to continue partying after 2 a.m., then there's other areas in Miami-Dade County that that is more acceptable. Doral City Mayor Christy Fraga says changes are coming, and she is giving more details about what those changes entail. Since the deadly shooting at Martini Bar that claimed the life of security guard George Castellanos and injured seven others, including a police officer, Fraga has been vocal about rolling back last call times for alcohol to 1.30 a.m., and rolling back closing times to 2 a.m. for nightclubs and entertainment venues. Currently, Martini Bar has a closing time of 4 a.m. and others 3 a.m. The reason why it's important to have that last call is so that you can purchase and then enjoy and consume that and then, you know, have give time to, to shut down. And She is also proposing mandatory metal detecting wands at every entrance and establishments submitting safety plans to police for review. We will never legislate human behavior. Taking a weapon into a nightclub or a bar is illegal. So could this have happened at any other time? Absolutely. However, if we can put preventative measures in place that will limit liability and exposure to these types of things happening in our community, then I think that that's what the actions that we should take. These changes will solely apply to nightclubs and entertainment venues, which Fraga says only applies to a list of six places, with the majority being city place Doral tenants. And so I just don't think Doral's that place. And, and I think that that's the most important part of what our ordinance does, is it just, it, uh, it, it, it protects the characteristics of our neighborhood. With these changes, businesses could face larger fines and even face possibly losing their operational license. In Doral, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.